Yo, what's up, guys? It's Scott, aka Baker Turtle, here bringing you another Pokemon Draft League team builder video. This week, it is the Machamp Lounge Draft League, uh, week five, I believe. Uh, yeah, I'm 4 0. And my opponent is Ryan, and I believe he is 3 1, but his one loss is by a technicality forfeit. Uh, because he brought in illegal Pokemon. I guess he got his draft teams mixed up one time and brought a Pokemon that was not on his team and uh, had to forfeit the game. Um, so that's his one loss. So basically, in my eyes, he's undefeated. He's a very great battler. And uh, yeah, so week five, Ryan. Uh, this week, and let me showcase the team. Boom. Here we go. So, as you guys can see, the top of the uh, page, I've got Rabombi, Tink the Bomb, Rabombi, Goldie Rocks, the Steelix, Orochi, the Hydreigon, Waka, the Passimian, Sally, the Boltund, and One Piece, the Galarian Corsola. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going up against Ryan. He's the coach of the Cyanwood City Quagsire, a really uh, a long... Uh, long-term veteran of the Pokemon Draft Leagues. He's been in more Pokemon Draft Leagues than I have, uh, more than anybody that I probably know. And uh, so he really knows his stuff. I'm not going to be taking him lightly. And uh, I honestly expect to lose this game. So let me start off by saying what his team is, and we'll go from there. So starting off, he's got Hatterene, Mamoswine, Salazzle, Copperaja, Mandibuzz, Beware, Gorgeist, Lantern, and Drumpa. Yeah, so that's the team, guys. Um, looking at his team, I know he really likes Beware, so I expect Beware to come. I was thinking, like, uh, how would I mitigate his Beware? And I've got Galarian Corsula. At first, I was thinking, um, you know, that's at the end. I'll talk about what I, what it does. But uh, at first, I was thinking of not even having Galarian Corsula. Um, thinking, like, it's maybe setup fodder. Um probably doesn't do well versus his team but then i was looking at his team and he's got mamoswine he's got caparaja he's got beware uh so he's got things that i was like you know what i, I can probably make it work because i was trying to think of the team um but as you can see here i got rabombi first so i've decided to bring rabombi because it outspeeds his whole team and uh has uh and handles the threats on his team that so i really want to get rid of that mandibuzz so moonblast is going to be helping me here Beware as well, Moonblast there. Um, it uh, that's mostly what I want to use this thing for, I guess you could say. Uh, sticky webs just to force his Mandibuzz to defog or bring defog at least. Um, I want to be able to outspeed maybe a Scarf Mamoswine or a Salazzle uh, with other Pokemon. And uh, his team is actually pretty slow, um, but. Only Hatterene has the ability to trick room, the move to trick room his team, and uh, it, it can actually pretty be pretty scary under trick room. So that's why I've got special defensive Goldie Rocks here. So the best move that Hatterene can hit me with is Mystical Fire, um, modest mass max special attack. Mystical Fire, um, I think, has a, a roll to t to hit KO me, a chance, um, but. Uh, hopefully, you know, it's not max special attack. Maybe he's got some defense or special defense or something. Um, so I've got Sheer Force, Iron Head. Don't want to go with Sturdy. I was thinking maybe Sturdy so I can start off versus Salazzle, get some rocks up, Earthquake or something. Um, that could be still an option. I've got to do some damage calculations with Iron Head. Might change it because he might lead Salazzle and I might want to lead Steelix here. And... Uh, you know, be able to live a hit, but anyways, um, special defensive here, you know, should help versus the, um, Drampa as well, but this is mostly here for Hatterene, honestly, um, yeah, but the, th the one thing is that I don't like how passive it is, um, uh, this, this, this lets Mandibuzz come in, this lets, like, Beware come in, and, uh, that's why I've got Taunt here for, uh, Mandibuzz mostly, um, yeah, so, uh, let's see, next up, I've got Orochi here, at first, the Hydreigon, at first I was going to have a Scarf set, but then I was like, you know what, um, 
having a being a nasty plot set could really work here. His team is really slow. The only thing that outspeeds this is Salazzle. Uh, and if I can get sticky webs up, then not even a scarf, uh, Mammoth Swan can outspeed me. So I'm um, thinking of having a nasty plot here. So Flash Cannon, Dragon Pulse, Earth Power. Decided to not have the Dark Pulse. Instead have the Dragon Pulse. The um, the Dragon Pulse to hit like the Beware. Um, you know, I've got Flash Cannon for Hatterene. I got Flash Cannon for Mamo. Uh, I need because I I needed to fit Earth Power on for the Carparaja and the Salazzle. Um, this also hits the Lantern. So this Earth Power. Gonna have to double check to see if that's a legal move. I'm pretty sure it is because I think it's a TM in Gen 8. So um, this should be fine. But yeah, leftovers decided to be timid. I, I could have gone modest with more speed EVs, but I did want the bulk, the extra bulk. I'm um, not not too worried about having too much damage. I can set up on, on most things and uh, and start punching holes if that Salazzo goes down. So um, that Ice Shard Mammoth Swine is going to be definitely uh, something I got to look to uh, address. And that's why Galarian Corsola is there. So you guys got a little sneak peek. But anyways, next I got Scarf Pasimian here. Just, you know, just to be safe. Um... Maybe like a last minute uh, win condition. Scarf outspeed his whole team. I got, you know, close combat. Iron Head, U-turn, knock off. Um, I was thinking of maybe f fitting Earthquake, but then that just leaves uh, Mandibuzz to come in. You know, I might not put Scarf. Uh, maybe Expert Belt because... Yeah, I think this would help because... Um... It's going to outspeed most of his team anyway, and it could speed, speed tie with the Mammoth Swine. If the Mammoth Swine is Scarfed, honestly, that's a little better for me then, because uh, then if it's uh, um, if it's just Earthquake, then if it just keeps trying to hit Earthquakes, then I got Hydreigon to switch in. If it's Ice School Crash, then I've, I've got answers. So, um, yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said... Um, should I? I was thinking of having a move to hit Mandibuzz with, but now nah, I think it just would be better if I can get uh, Robombi in or Bolt Hunt in, or even Hydreigon versus the Mandibuzz. So next up, I have the Bolt Hunt, Sally the Bolt Hunt, Life Orb, just enough speed to outspeed that Salazzle. I've got Crunch, Thunder Fang, Fire Fang, Psychic Fang. So Fire Fang for the Copperaja, Thunder Fang for the Mandibuzz, uh, Psychic Fangs for the Salazzo, and like things like, um, what is that? Is that 80, 85, and Crunch is 90. So yeah, 85, um, it's, will be, it'll be stronger versus like Lantern or Drumpa or uh, Mammoth Swine and stuff like that. So uh, honestly, I really only have Crunch here for the Gorgeist, um, but yeah, so that should be punching holes. And then last but not least, I have the Galarian Corsola. So Galarian Corsola, uh, Curse Body, I was going to have the standard like Haze set in case he tries to set up with things, um, Strength Sap. I was going to have Will-O-Wisp and all that stuff, but I just kept thinking like Beware just comes in, sets up the sub substitutes and then i couldn't really have like a move if i had psychic um to hit the beware with then mandibuzz comes in for free and then if you know you know i just I, I was trying to find what i could do and i was thinking you know what imagine i, I can set up with this because i think mandibuzz is the only thing that gets a knockoff on his team um mammoth swine shouldn't be getting knockoff i think that's a transfer move only pre post home so um should be able to come in on the Mammoth Swine, start setting up, and I've got Ice Beam for the Mandibuzz and Shadow Ball for everything else. So Ice Beam hits Beware as well, um, but Shadow Ball pretty much hits everything except for the Drumpa but, and the Mandibuzz, so Ice Beam hits those. So hopefully this can be another win condition for me, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to be sending the challenge pretty soon. Um, wish me luck, guys. I do expect to lose. Ryan is a very, very great battler. Uh, I feel like he has the better team matchup as well. 
Mammoth Swine is just so hard to deal with, you know, beware. Amanda Buzz is going to be really, really hard to break. Um, don't have recovery on my team besides this strength set, uh, Corsola. And uh, just going to hope to punch the right holes and make the right moves. So anyways, leave a like, comment below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you at the battle.